Hi folks, it's Sandy Hovetter here. I want to give you a tip today about how to hyphenate words the way you want them to hyphenate in InDesign. What I have up on my screen is InDesign CS5, but you can do it in uh, versions 3, 4, 5, 5.5, 5 6. We're going to start by going to the Edit menu, coming down to Spelling, and going down to Dictionary. And this will allow us to add a word to our dictionary and tell InDesign how we want it to hyphenate. Now I'm going to pretend that we work for a company called Superglue and that we sell Superglue. So I'm going to put in the word Superglue and I'm going to tell InDesign to tell me how they would hyphenate it. Now those two tildes, they mean that, well that's not you know hugely desirable but that's where we would hyphenate it. Well I'm going to say I never want the word Super to be hyphenated and if you have to hyphenate, hyphenate between super and glue. Now, the way the tildes uh, you communicate with InDesign uh, with tildes is that one tilde means that is the most desirable hyphenation location. Now, if I allowed, oops, hyphenation after the word after the first two letters, su, but it was less desirable, I would put two tildes in. So one tilde means this is my most desirable place to hyphenate. Two means it's not as desirable, but it's acceptable. And if I had a longer word, there might be a place where I would use a third tilde, and that means for one tilde is most desirable, two tilde is the second most, and three is third most. But I want to say never, ever, ever hyphenate anywhere except between uh, the word super and the word glue. Now I'm going to add that to my dictionary. But I want to add another one because the name of my company is Super with a capital S and Glue with a capital G, but it's all one word. Again, I could ask InDesign to tell me how they're going to hyphenate it, but they would do it the same way. I never want this word to be hyphenated. I always want it to be together. It's the name of my company, and I care about that. I care about that. And so the way I'm going to communicate to InDesign is by putting a tilde before the word. Now when I add that word to the dictionary, that's going to tell InDesign, when you see that word, never hyphenate it. But notice I've got a capital S and a capital G, and that's really what distinguishes it from the product that I sell, Super Glue, which is not hyphenated. And so I'm going to click the case sensitive block. And so when I add that to my dictionary, InDesign is going to know when it sees Super Glue, capital S, capital G, never hyphenate it, or Super Glue, all lowercase, um, th that it can be hyphenated, but only between the S and the G. So let me add that. And I'm going to say that I'm done. And let me very quickly create a new document to show you how this works. We're just going to go with all the defaults. But I am going to uh, give myself three columns. And we'll leave that at the default. And we're going to add some text. So I've gone to the text tool and I'm adding a text frame. I'm going to zoom in 200 percent and we'll uh, go with whatever my default fonts are and all. And I'm going to type a sentence for you. Yes, the very, very, very best super glue available. Now notice it hyphenated it, S-U-P-E-R hyphen. Now if I put another very in there there would be room for the SU, but it won't hyphenate it there because I've told it not to. So we'll go back to what it was. Available is from a firm super glue. Now notice it's tempting to hyph it's tempted to hyphenate it there. I haven't finished the word, so it's not relating it to my dictionary uh, entry yet. So it would, if I hadn't put it in the dictionary, uh, put a hyphen after the word super, as soon as I put the E in there, the word super glue all bounces to the next line because it knows that I've told it you cannot hyphenate the word super glue when the S and the G are capitalized. Now, when that happened, you notice that the uh, product super glue also bounced to the next line. That's InDesign's attempt to do the best line breaking that it can. I could come here and force a line break. Uh, so you can see that just shows you again that the word uh, 
super or the first part of the company name super would uh, definitely fit on that second line but I'm proving to you if you will that adding it to our dictionary has told InDesign never divide the word and that's exactly what it's done so you can take advantage of that when you've got words that you want hyphenated at specific places or never hyphenated just go again we went to the edit menu and down to spelling and then down to dictionary now I don't know if I pointed out at the beginning do that when you do not have any document open and that will apply anything you put in the dictionary to all the future documents that you will, or all the documents that you open in the future that's today's tip hope it's been helpful for you have a great one